Hi guys, my name is Tito. I have sickle cell anemia and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of blood donation. If you haven't watched the previous videos, make sure you go and watch them before you proceed with this one because it will just make everything make a lot more sense. So if you've watched the previous videos, you already know that sickle cell is a complication of the blood. And it's one where literally wherever the blood flows in your body, a complication can arise. And one very, 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 very important solution or treatment for this is to kind of combat it with blood donations, with transfusions, with exchanges. And I can speak like from firsthand experience that blood donations have saved and repeatedly saved my life. Every four weeks, to help me manage sickle cell, I undergo this treatment called a red cell exchange transfusion, where I go to the hospital one morning and then they'll put two needles in my arm. One of the needles, my blood is being drained from my body almost. I don't know, drained sounds so dramatic. And then the other donated blood is being given to me. So ultimately, like the, the logic or the idea behind it is that if sickle cell is an issue of the blood, let's just swap it out. So in my case, whenever I go, I'm donated nine units of blood and the equivalent is removed from my body. The aim for my doctors is to kind of reduce the number of sickle cells in my blood so then they just don't cause a problem. And it works so, so, so well for me. So blood donations, literally, every four weeks, like they save my life, they keep me going. And if you're watching this, and you haven't thought about giving blood or you're a bit worried about it or you don't really see the other end of what the donations or where the donations go to, just use me as an example and be like, because of this girl or because of blood donations, this girl is here, she's alive, she's talking to you. Um, and I really do urge you to just do some research and find out a bit more about blood donations because it really does help. Like, I, if I was to calculate, so like each nine bags of blood at a time, each is from one person. And I've been doing this since maybe like 2016, every four weeks. That's a lot of blood. And yeah, I like when I deep it myself, like I'm very grateful. Um, it's something which is really humbling for me because these are strangers who go out their way. They don't even see the other end of the donation and they still go and give blood. And it is such, it's so moving to me and I'm really thankful. So if you're watching this and you do give blood, Thank you on behalf of everyone who you donated to because I know you're not going to see them so just take this as the message. Um, but yeah guys, please, if there's anything that you take away from these series of videos, please give blood. Um, if you can't give blood yourself, just raise the conversation because I know that in our community, a lot of people kind of shy away from it because they don't know that much about it. Like typically you hear like, oh, why would I give blood? What are they going to do with my blood, X, Y, and Z? But you have to look beyond that. Um, they're not doing anything with your blood first and foremost, but understand that there's a bigger picture and we have to help each other. Um, and it's more important, I guess, right now, because in the UK, there are 17,000 people with sickle cell and blood donations, I mean, blood transfusions are becoming a, a more popular option or choice when it comes to treatment. However, for the black community specifically, it's harder to match our blood group with people from who are not from where we're from. Um, chances are that we will find closer matches to our blood group within our community. Um, so if you can, please, please, please give blood. I am literally begging you to. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. Please do comment in the comments. Please just, yeah, do write in the comments if you are a blood donor. I'd love to see that. Um, if you're thinking about it or if you have any questions, please do share and we will get back to you. Hi guys, my name is Tito. I have sickle cell anemia and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of blood donation. My mind has just gone blank. And this is the one where I'm like, yeah, I could talk about this. <laughs> okay.